Right. It's been 12 long years since the fine folks in Bay Minette have seen their team in the playoffs. The Baldwin County Tigers were really close to breaking that streak last two years under head coach Nathan McDaniel, but close doesn't cut it. They really need a breakthrough win against one of the top region teams to get over the hump. A chance to do just that tonight, but a very tough task trying to beat St. Paul's. And it looked like Baldwin County was going to do it in the first quarter. They were up 14 zip, but then St. Paul's Saints marching back. However, not going down without a fight here. Baldwin County. Second half. Anthony Mix lobbed it up, but of course it was an interception. So St. Paul's, they're pumped and they're going to keep that mojo going. Two plays later, Jordan Ingram takes the handoff and breaks off for this Big 45 yard run before he's eventually shoved out of bounds in Tiger territory. The Saints would make it count. Jay Green in that quarterback. He drops back, floats it up to wide open. Will Paso. What a beautiful ball. It's going to give his team a two touchdown lead. Back and forth game, but it's the Saints coming down with the W. 28 21. That's the second week in a row. The St. Paul Saints have had two pretty close games and come out on top. After the game, head coach Steve Mass. Obviously happy with this W. Well, this is two weeks in a row we've had to come from behind. You know, we're down 14 nothing. We're down three times to Park Cross in last week. So I think that shows a lot about the character of this team. Just because you're down 14 nothing, we came back and all of a sudden it's 28-14. So I think it says a tremendous amount about the character of the team.